Welcome back to another postpartum health journey update. It is so humid outside. I am like, I, I feel the moisture on my skin. I see my glasses fogging up. It is a humid day today, um, but I have a two mile run and I'm gonna do it outside because even though the weather is kind of crappy, I still need to get my run in and running on the treadmill just like, it's not quite the same so <laughs> if I can run outside I'm going to run outside so that's what we have today two mile run we just went for our walk we go for a walk every single day pretty much it's like a weird day if we don't go for our walk which that's been a really good change that we've been really consistent with this year I'm already like sweating <laughs> Um, so that's been good. We're still sticking to that. We go for it's just about like just under a mile with our dog Poncho and Miss Luna. Um, so that on top of our runs, we've been running Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like base, and then we usually run additionally. Jarvis has started running with me some, which is really exciting. Um, we actually just did a 5K on my birthday this past Saturday, and we have another one this Saturday. Today is Wednesday, so I have a two mile run today. I'll probably do like just one mile on the treadmill tomorrow, just like see if I can do a fast mile, fast mile fast for me and then probably take Friday off just maybe go for a walk and then Saturday is our 5k and it's in Volano Beach which um, there's a huge bridge I say huge I, I mean there's a bridge that we have to run over and then back over <laughs> so that'll be interesting but I'm gonna go ahead and go for my run I am literally sweating I have on this new shirt that I got for my birthday. It's from Airy. I will link it down below. It's just like a cropped um, like t-shirt uh, top. <laughs> and then I have on my like Target all in motion little tank top on underneath in blue. So I'll have that linked as well. So I'm gonna go for my run. I'll see if I can get some footage with my phone, but I always get really scared <laughs> filming cause it's like so awkward cause I'm just like running with my arm out like this. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I will definitely check in with you after my run. back from my run as you can see it's very hot outside very hot very humid luckily it's not sunny it's like super overcast I don't know it probably would have been too hot for me to run outside <laughs> if it was sunny um but I got my run in it was a pretty tough run like I felt really like tired and just like slow <laughs> the whole time um but I mean it just kind of one of those days sometimes I feel good running sometimes I don't and today was one of the days where I didn't feel necessarily great but I got it done two miles I think my average pace was about 1330 so can't be mad at that that's like pretty quick for me honestly um I gotta go drink some water so I'm gonna head inside and we can chat kind of like health updates and weight loss and stuff like that. I'm so excited because my brand new running shoes finally came in. These are from New Balance. I ordered them through First Place Sports. This was like a birthday gift from Jarvis to me. And I'm so excited they finally got here. This is what they look like. They're the New Balance 1080 V13s. Um, and yeah, this is the color that I got. It's this gorgeous, like light pink, kind of like mauve color. They're white on this foam part. And then there's like a light purple and yellow kind of accent on the bottom, but these are super light. They're so squishy and I'm so excited about these. I cannot wait to run in these. I already went for my run today, obviously. So I won't be able to try them out today. Um, but maybe I'll try them out tomorrow. I'm just doing like a one mile run before my 5k I'm not gonna wear these for my 5k just because I don't want to wear 
new shoes like the day of our race so um i am so excited to start using these the little like yellow accents are so cute also ignore my nail polish i'm literally about to take it off right now <laughs> but so freaking cute i'm so excited i had to show you those since those just got here also i wanted to show you a couple of things that i didn't include in my birthday haul um these are from jarvis's mom she actually got me this super cute mug and it is covered in mushrooms i got it the day after i filmed my a uh, birthday haul so I wasn't able to include it but it has like these gold stars on it and it's so cute so she got me that for my birthday and then also this pillow which I am obsessed with you guys know I love mushrooms it's on both sides it's like a hot pink color and it's so soft and so cute I cannot wait to find the perfect place for this so I just wanted to go ahead and show those couple items because I wasn't able to include them in my birthday haul and I mean the shoes are definitely relevant to this video since it's like a postpartum health update but this was just too cute not to include so wanted to give those their little spotlight so our room is an absolute mess I think what I'm gonna do I feel like I'm in the spring cleaning mode I think I'm going to go room by room like dedicate a whole day to a room and just like deep clean like I'm gonna show you our room <laughs> this is like a sneak peek because I'm definitely gonna start with our bedroom because I feel so overwhelmed and like overstimulated and just not good in here um but here's kind of like what our room is looking like we have clean laundry here that i need to put away clean laundry here that i need to put away our bed looks like this um more clean laundry like socks that i have to match up and put away i have laundry on the floor dirty laundry <laughs> my nursing pillow um, this is my like postpartum cart that just needs to be completely like reorganized. There's like clean clothes on top of it just sitting there. My nightstand is a rack covered in dog hair. So my sheets are literally not even like on the mattress all the way. So definitely there will be a video just deep cleaning. I have like a bag of decluttered stuff over here. Just nothing is put away. But um, I just thought I would show you. <laughs> Anyway, I'm giving a backstory as to why my background is going to be messy when I show you my outfit. But I thought I would show you my outfit in like the mirror. So here's what the tank top looks like. I have it in an XXL. So it's definitely like a bit oversized, but I like it like that. So this is the top. I also have it in this like hot pink it's not pink it's like coral and it's like so neon like I feel like again the camera probably isn't picking it up the best but it's like neon super bright <laughs> and it's really fun and summery but um I am wearing that top and then here is what the this is actually a tank top I looked it up it's a tank top but it fits like a sports bra on me again this is in an XXL <laughs> And I have this in every color that it comes in. It comes in this blue color. It comes in hot pink, white, and black. And I love it. I just wear like a wired bra, like a regular wired bra from Amazon. I'll link the one that I wear. Um, I also have some from Soma that I really like. So I'll see if I can link that one as well. But I wear a wired bra and then I wear one of these like target tanks on top of it. And then I'll throw a shirt on over it. And that's what I wear when I run every day. I have... A bra size of 38H so support is definitely an issue and it's definitely not the best like I feel like it could be better but this is just what works for me and is accessible to me right now um, and then these are the leggings I like that they hit all the way at my ankle but and they're actually pretty high-waisted as well they're just like I don't know like not the most flattering I feel very uncomfortable with that angle but <laughs> they're not the most flattering in this area which is where I feel very like that's like my most like self-conscious area so um I feel kind of self-conscious in these but I just said whatever like I can't see it when I'm running so I just pretend like it's fine um but yeah that's my running outfit <laughs> my face is so red my mirror is dusty too so another thing to add to the list of things to do when I clean this room um but here's our little medal from our Chick-fil-A <laughs> biscuit run this is the 5k that we did on my birthday last weekend um so I have my river run 5k it's the Sonovus Bank 5k I guess um that I did 
when was that like March 2nd or something and then I have my chick-fil-a biscuit run 5k and then our next one is this Saturday the Volano Beach or the Volano Bridge 5k and Jarvis is doing that one with me as well which I'm so excited about he was so nice and he like stayed at my pace with me during the chick-fil-a one even though he could have like finished like way before me but he was my little running buddy and it was really great and i appreciated it now as for weight loss so i wanted to talk about this um i don't weigh myself every single day because i i hate like seeing the fluctuation and i know that like you know you could weigh like a pound more one day and then a pound less the next day and then a pound more one day and you're not like actually gaining and losing a pound of body fat but i just don't like to see the fluctuation so i weigh myself like maybe once a week um and since the beginning of the year so january 1st i was at basically my pre-pregnancy weight um maybe like a pound or two more may, i don't know again the fluctuation but Roughly, I was at my pre-pregnancy weight on January 1st, which was super exciting because, um, you know, I was worried about pregnancy weight gain, um, but I was back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Now, I did lose weight in my first trimester. I think I lost, I don't even know, maybe like seven or eight pounds <laughs> in my first trimester because of like food aversions and like just nausea and things like that um so but my pre-pregnancy weight or when I found out that I was pregnant that's how much I weighed on January 1st and I weighed myself I think it was last week and I was officially seven pounds down which was really exciting <laughs> because um I don't know I just feel like a lot it, obviously it's not like doesn't mean everything but that was like nice and like gratifying to see a improvement or like a change in the scale because it's definitely been slow that's seven pounds and it was probably like 10 weeks maybe 10 11 weeks so less than a pound a week so like it's not like rapid weight loss or anything but it's definitely like manageable and like maintainable for me so i have just been eating more at home although the last month like in march we've definitely like not been as strict on like just eating at home which we need to get back on track in April or I guess right now there's no point in waiting until April 1st we might as well just start now but we need to get back on track for eating at home more um, but I haven't been like counting calories or being like restrictive I've just been mindful of like you know portion size I guess pretty much but I'm still just kind of doing if I feel really hungry one day then I'm gonna aim more that day and I'm also breastfeeding which I know can make you feel very very hungry so that's also a thing that I'm dealing with and also can cause fluctuation in my weight depending on if I've breastfed once or twice or like in the morning or if I haven't breastfed like that you know can also fluctuate the scale in a non like an insignificant way so just you know reminder that the scale isn't doesn't mean everything but i do like to kind of check in just to kind of see where i'm at and see if the changes that i'm making are like effective for me so yeah seven pounds down which is really exciting so i'm like basically like at where i was <laughs> when i like lost weight at the beginning of pregnancy um from like nausea and food versions and things like that so um i'm feeling really good and i'm excited to keep going i was telling jarvis and i was also telling my mom that i've i've gone on like like little bursts of like wanting to like lose weight or be healthier or eat better or whatever it is um and this time i feel like it feels different because it's not that i like want to be motivated to like run or want to be motivated to be healthier i just want to be healthier and i want to go for my runs and it's it's definitely like a challenge like running is tough and it's like hard on my body but i am i always like 
look forward to it and I feel so much better when I'm done so the difference this time is instead of like wanting to feel motivated I just feel motivated I don't know how I came to that I don't know if it was having a kid like changed my like like switched something inside of me to take me to the next level of like just being motivated to be healthier and exercise more and you know have like fitness goals and things like that instead of just like like oh I like want to be the type of person that like runs every day or I want to be the type of person that you know it is conscious of their health like I just feel like now I am that person so although I'm at the beginning of my journey I think that that is a big difference so anyway I have been rambling for a really long time <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a shower because as you can tell I'm so sweaty. I'm feeling very motivated to get this room in order so I think I'm gonna take a shower, make some lunch, and then get to work on this room and filming that video <laughs> because I feel like just like being in here is just like it with because we never turn the big light on <laughs> like these lights we never turn those lights on we just have like our lamps on um so when the big light is on it's like very overwhelming like you really see the mess that things are and the dog hair everywhere so that's what I'm gonna go work on I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up I'll have all the links in the description box for you thank you so much for watching i love you so so much i hope you have a wonderful day <laughs> and i will see you in the next one bye